News 12 local headlines from EPB. This is the place for the latest news from around the Tennessee Valley and North Georgia. And hello once again, everybody. Good of you to join us. I'm Dave Staley reporting. Here's a quick look at what's making headlines right about now. It was a hot June, going to be a hot July. And with that, the high temperatures are becoming very serious indeed, especially with those regular heat advisories. News 12's Caleb Figures explains more on how folks can keep themselves safe in this blistering heat. With temperatures climbing, doctors are urging folks to be aware of heat advisories. We have a number of us that are unfortunately having to live outside in these elements. They're having to work outside both day and night. And when the temperatures not only get up to over 95 or don't get below 75 at night for those that are working at night, it can become a problem. A heat advisor is normally issued when the maximum heat index temperature reaches 105 degrees or higher. Dr. Stephen Miller with the health department believes working and having activities in high temperatures can be dangerous. A lot of times we've planned for uh, being outside for events or maybe we have some construction we're going to do in our yard and we're so set on getting the task done that we're not mindful of what's going on with the elements around us. If folks are not careful in the heat, they could also develop potential health risks. A certain signs and symptoms to look out for uh, elevated temperature, flushing, excessive sweating. This will start and then it will lead to things like headaches, confusion, nausea, even a loss of consciousness. And if these people are not cared for, it could even go on to death. According to the health department, both children and older adults are more vulnerable to the heat. In the case of a heat advisory, Dr. Miller shares tips on how to keep yourself cool. Make sure that you have ample hydration available, electrolyte drinks available, and then seek shelter and shade and cooler surroundings. Set breaks for yourself throughout the day as needed, either planned or unplanned. And Dr. Miller encourages everyone to be safe in the heat. Be safe during the summer. It is going to be cooler the next few days, but we know the heat's going to turn right back up. Reporting in Hamilton County, Caleb Figures, News 12. Caleb, thank you. We appreciate it. And thank you for joining us for your News 12 headlines. I'm Dave Staley. We'll be right back in 60 seconds.